Right, Jamie. OK, let's get more on England, who take on Greece tonight. Big game, actually, isn't it? They need yeah. a victory to keep their hopes of being promoted back to the top level of the Nations League alive. Not going to be easy. No, it wasn't. And we saw against uh, Greece at Wembley that it wasn't easy for Lee Carsley either. As you said, anything other than a win for England tonight makes life uh, very, very difficult for the means to face a playoff against a team that finishes third in one of the League A groups. And you've got the likes of sort of Belgium and Poland currently sitting in those positions. So, so tough teams to have to face, which will be Thomas Tuchel's first game mm. in March. They need to win by two goals to top the group tonight. Um, and obviously their, their remaining game is against the Republic of Ireland um, at Wembley on Sunday. Of course, as we were saying, Greece beat England at Wembley last month. They won 2-1. They didn't have Harry Kane that day. England, he was injured. You'll remember, Pete, that Lee Carsley kind of experimented with Jude Bellingham as a sort of false nine. Phil Foden occasionally dropping in that position as well. It didn't work at all. Um, so that was a night to forget for England at Wembley. They'll be hoping for a better performance in Athens tonight, no doubt. Lee Carsley spoke about the challenge that faces England and said they will need to be at their very best to overcome their opponents. We definitely prepared well for the game. Against, against Greece, um, very well organised, um, very good team, strong team, uh, with a great history behind them. Um, we definitely didn't underestimate them. We expect a really tough game tomorrow night. Um, you know, we've, we found that they were very good on the counter-attack especially. Um, so, you know, we're expecting a, a tough game. Yeah, you're expecting a tough game. I think we all are. There's so many absentees as well. It doesn't make Lee Carsley's life any easier. So how could England line up in Athens? Do we yeah, well, tonight? look, there were absentees before he even announced the squad. Then we've had, obviously, these, these nine high-profile withdrawals, which Harry Kane's been so outspoken about as well. So this is our sort of best guess at how England might look tonight. Their first choice goalkeeper uh, in Jordan Pickford and their first choice striker, captain Harry Kane. But the rest is kind of quite makeshift. Carl Walker, good man to have it right back, no doubt. Gehi Konza Lewis competing the back four. So, you know, that's Mark Gehi, you can argue, might be first choice. But certainly um, Esri Konza and Lewis wouldn't be first choices necessarily. Angel Gomez starting alongside Conor Gallagher in midfield. And then the three behind Kane being Noni Madueke, Jude Bellingham, of course, and Anthony Gordon. So, look, it still looks like a very, very strong side, but you would certainly have to say with these two, with the, in the absence of the likes of, of Declan Rice and Kobe Mainu, the midfield in particular looks pretty inexperienced and certainly would not be the first choice. These are the players that England are missing, Pete, just to show you what their absent 11 would be. Nine of these are with the withdrawals. Two were, were injured before the squad was even picked. Aaron Ramsdale, one of the withdrawals. You could have had a back four of Trent Alexander-Arnold, John Stones, Jared Branthwaite, Levi Colwell. As I said, already mentioned Declan Rice and Kobe Mainu in the midfield. Saka, Grealish and Foden behind Palmer playing as a false nine. All 11 of those players missing. As I said, nine of them were withdrawals. In the case of John Stones and Kobe Mainu, they weren't even um, available for selection. You could argue place, that, but... I mean, obviously, we, we all know Harry Kane. Yes. You could argue that is like the, the potentially the strongest front six, couldn't you? Some yeah, argue certainly, that. yeah. Um, oh. Or certainly, you know, substitute in maybe Bellingham and, and Kane for Grealish and Palmer. And then, yeah, that probably is the, the, the first six that England would have. So, look, it's going to be tough for them tonight. We know how strong Greece are. You were saying to me there just before they came to us that, the team. that, that this is maybe the best Greece side they've had since they won the Euros. So. Big fans of, big fans of this side and they were on a good run of form. It's going to be a very tough game. It's going to be a tough night.